Good day, good day everyone and once again we're back, alright, um, I'm going to actually start with 5.3 um, and in this case we're trying to simplify trig expressions, right? So uh, 5.3 says determine the value of the expression without the use of a calculator. Okay, so what they've given us there is the 10 of 300 okay plus the cos of 90 plus x divided by the sine of 180 minus x and of course we're going to use our cast diagram as well as uh, special angles as well there right now let's start in this case how do we express the 10 of 300 now remember so two things that we, uh, are supposed to happen either we're going to express the angle as a special angle or we have to find angles that are common all right uh, in this case 10 of 300 easily becomes the 10 of 360 minus 60 why because 60 is a special angle right remember special angles that's 30 60 uh, 45 60 as well as 90 degrees right okay so uh, that's plus the cos of 90 plus x now we're going to simplify all of that uh, using our uh, Cartesian plane our cast diagram so this is sine of 180 minus x as well as now we've got a negative angle there and remember when you've got a negative angle all you can simply do is just add 360 remember that the cost graph repeats at every 360 degree cycle so by adding 360 we haven't ch uh, changed anything right so this is going to be 360 minus 30 okay right so all I've done is just add three uh, I mean 360 into that uh, at angle there right so there's our cast diagram remember in this case we know that's zero that's 90 that's going to be 180 270 as well as 360 over there right now in this case the 10 of 360 minus 60 now 360 minus that's in the fourth quadrant okay so how is 10 in the fourth quadrant well only cos is positive in the in the in the fourth quadrant so that means that 10 is negative so that becomes simply negative the 10 of 60 all right now that's plus note we've got cos of 90 plus now 90 plus meaning we're going into the second quadrant right so the uh, the cos graph is negative in the second quadrant okay so we know that will change into a negative sign so that's minus okay but now remember in this case we say well if you want to change your life okay you change the way you think and you change the places that you go to right so in this case um, you you uh, we're going to change our into co-ratios at 90 as well as 270 right so in this case we've got 90 plus so that becomes the co-ratio of cos is sine so that's going to be minus the sine of x okay right and by the way some of you call uh, prefer to call it sin x all right uh, you know whenever i think sin i think religious stuff so <laughs> i always prefer to call it sign right all right, so uh, sine of 180 minus x. So where is that? 180 minus, that's in the second quadrant. So sine is positive there. So that means this simply becomes the sine of x. All right, and then finally, we've got two cos of 360 minus 30. Now remember, cos 360 minus, that's in the fourth quadrant cos is positive there and it doesn't change in this case to co-ratios because we've got 360 we don't change into co-ratios at 360 and 180 right only at 90 and 270 right so this is going to be two cos is positive in the fourth quadrant and this will be two cos of 30 
Right, now we're going to use our special angles, right? Now guys, please, um, whether you decide to use the fan diagram, okay, or, you know, your triangles for, um, you know, your special angles, the fan diagram looks something like this, okay? So we know we're going to have 30, we're going to have 45, we're going to have 60, and we're going to have 90, of course, right? So in our fan diagram, remember that the radius or the length of this uh, quarter of a circle of this fan is going to be 2, right? So all that we simply do is write down the coordinates. And how do we write the coordinates? That's simply going to be square root 4, square root 3, square root 2, square root 1 and square root 0 which is 0 and we do the same uh, going for the y so that square root 4 square root 3 square root 2 okay square root 1 which is 1 okay sorry that doesn't uh, appear properly there okay as well as 0 Okay, so that's how the Fenn diagram would look like. Okay, of course, some of you uh, prefer to use uh, our triangles, right? So uh, your triangles for, right? So this is going to be 30 degrees and this is 60 degrees, okay? And we know this is simply going to be 1, this is 2, and this is square root of 3, all right? So that's how your... Uh, you know your triangle would look like doesn't matter which one you use some of you prefer to use the calculator but of course that's cheating but nonetheless it is what it is right so let's uh, put in our values so negative 10 of 60 right now 10 of 60 let's use our fan diagram right but what is 10 10 is y over x so we go to 60 degrees okay i just want to use a different color right there's 60 degrees right over there so 10 is y okay root 3 over x which is square root 1 which is 1 so it means the 10 of 60 is square root of 3 all right minus the sine of x okay divided by we've got sine x at the bottom there plus two times all right cos of 30 cos is x over r right so there we are i'm going to trace this in a different color there's our 30 degree uh, leg there right and um, cos is x over r so our x is square root 3 and our r value remember that r is 2 for all those values right so r is 2 so that's going to be root of 3 over 2 okay not sure why i wrote that in a different color though okay so that's going to be square root 3 over 2 now let's try and simplify this okay i'm going to take out the negative at the top so that's going to be minus root 3 plus sine of x divided by at the bottom i've got sine of x plus now 2 multiplied by root 3 over 2 those two cancel and i've got root 3 as my answer all right what do you notice the bottom and the top are exactly the same so what can we do we can cancel that and that so our answer will be negative 1 all right i hope that you were able to follow that okay um i hope that in the next video i'll be able to uh just give you uh you know obviously try to prove that identity it's really quite a nice question all right but we'll do that in our next video otherwise i'll see you guys next time sharp sharp